Good evening and welcome. I'm Peter Brackley and Trevor Brooking joins me to give his experienced voice on the proceedings. Trevor. Thanks, Peter. I'm really anticipating this one. Let's hope it lives up to all those expectations. Here we go. In name, it's only an exhibition match, but I don't think the players will be in that mindset. I'm sure they'll be going out for the win here today. We're off, and this is a contest sure to please football fans worldwide. Both teams will be hoping for a bright start to the match. Sends it back to him. On the ball here. Might work the keeper here. Good defence there, breaking up the attacking flow. Now he's got a chance to whip it across from the right. There's a chance for a cross here. They're in possession down the right flank. Heads for goal! Got the shot in. And I think the goalkeeper knew it was off target. Fifteen minutes into the first half. There's not a lot of support. Win the ball back. Extremely important interception there. Ball given away. And he gets a free kick in a very dangerous area. Played into the middle. Well found there. Finds his man. Hold on to the ball. Good attacking position too here. Deliberate foul. Made no attempt to play the ball. Good tight defensive play there. You just can't give your opposition a chance on goal. And he knows it. Corner it is then. They want another as they keep the pressure on. It's gone to the near post. Looking around for support. They look unbeatable. Impressive defending. Ball not given away here. Keeper's there. He's made the right move and picks it up. The first half has come to a close then here and the players head off to the dressing rooms. And I would think both managers will be hoping to spark a number of their players into life during the break. Shall we give us your thoughts on the second leg so far? Well, I have to say I love it when there's everything to play for in the second half of a second leg tie. And I think the fans do too. Neither side conceding a goal then, it's nil-nil.
Second half underway, but will it be better than the first? They've switched sides for the second half. That pass didn't make it. Wins possession to stop the attack. Looking for support now. Now he's got a chance to whip it across from the right. He may whip the cross in. Gives it away. Slack defending. 15 minutes into the second half. Receives it in space. So running off the ball for the cross. It's a good cross. Back to the keeper. Seem to be brought down then, but the referee waves play on. Wins the ball, great defending. There's not a lot of support. The referee has given a corner kick. It's sailing across the face of goal. And the opportunity comes to nothing. 9 side managing a goal so far. And we are approaching the final whistle. Here's a chance. Wasted opportunity, not on target there. I think in those situations, Peter, it's a striker who's prepared to try something different that gets the ball in the net. Nothing between the two sides after 90 minutes here, so we go into extra time. And I wonder now, will we find a winner in extra time? Let's hope so. No goals then, Trevor. Yes, it's been disappointing, hasn't it? I don't think it would have been too much to ask for a goal, would it? And the first period of extra time gets underway. A draw seemed to be on the cards long before the 90 minutes were up, Trevor. Extra time looked inevitable. Yes, there's not a lot to choose between these two teams. Don't give it away there. Pass went astray. Great work to win the ball. Looking for support now. Nothing could separate the two sides even after the first half of extra time. Will we see a winner in the second half? Still goalless at the end of the first period of extra time, Trevor. You just get the feeling whoever makes the first mistake is going to suffer as a result.
the players must be close to exhaustion now as the second period of extra time gets underway defences have been on top so far in extra time This is their final substitution of the game here. With the scores level, the manager is probably looking to add something to his attack. Brought an end to the attack. That was careless. Dealt with a threat expertly. And suddenly the defence is on the back foot. That pass has made it through. Goal kick. No winner could be found even after extra time. So it all comes down to a penalty shootout. And who can hold their nerve now and handle the pressure better? Well, Trevor, two halves of 45 minutes plus extra time and still we could... As we go into the penalty shootout, the takers will be doing everything they can to calm the nerves here as the pressure on them mounts. It hit the crossbar! It sailed off to the left. It was a good attempt, though. He puts it to the left corner! Yes, he made it. He's hit the bar. It sailed off to the right. There was plenty of power behind it, but it went just wide. Oh no, off the bar. It's off to the right. When you're taking a penalty, you have to be sure in your own mind where you're going to put the ball. Oh, the agony. He's fluffed it. It's off to the left. It was a good attempt, though. That's no problem. The keeper was in two minds there. The captain is to take charge of this one. He scored! Tremendous tension building up here. It's there, and his team live to fight another day. It's 3-3, and both teams are looking up for this, Trevor. It's getting quite excited now. He needed to be more decisive than that. It sailed off to the left. He struck it well enough, but it was wide of the target. Can he be the hero? That's it! Marvellous! He's hit the winner! That's decided the game. It was a tough game, but they won the penalty shootout. It was a pretty even contest, wasn't it, really? I mean, all the way to the penalty shootout. Oh, yes, it was a great battle, end-to-end -end stuff. And so we leave tonight's broadcast. Many thanks to Trevor. You're welcome, Peter. What an evening of football it's been. And we'll see you at the next match. Goodbye.